I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's WMD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 8 of our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee version Let's Play. And I keep shaking my joy constantly, it keeps going to that screen. But if you missed last episode, we faced Lieutenant Surge, we won, and we went through Diglett's Cave, we caught uh, some Nidorans that we missed um, in near the first route, I believe it was route 22, 24. Somewhere in that range, we caught some of those. Um, we caught Mr. Mime and Chansey at the very tail end of our episode, which was pretty exciting. Uh, but now we're about to go through Rock Tunnel. And that's pretty much what this episode is going to be about, is pretty much getting through the Rock Tunnel. Um, quick team recap, though, as we do with every start of the video, if I remember. Uh, let's see, we have Madara, our Charmeleon. He's level 22. He is also has Scratch, Grouse, Smokescreen, and Ember. Not a great wide variety of moves yet, but we'll get there. Um, then we have Hanamaru Zuda, our Pikachu with Thunderbolt, Double Kick, Thunder Wave, Quick Attack. We have Kiba, uh, mostly just our, uh, our bicycle. <laughs> but uh, he's level 18, Bite, Roar, Ember, and Leer. We have Shino, our Shiny Beedrill, level 21 with Poison Sting, String Shot, Fury Attack, Twin Needle. We have Ruby, Gamba Ruby, uh, Payday, Buzzy Buzz, Bite, Bouncy, Bubble. And then, of course, we have Isobu, our War Turtle, with Tackle Scald, Bubble, and Withdraw. So that is our squad. Pretty basic squad uh, for first-gen uh, lovers such as myself. But we don't have to battle through all these trainers. I don't think we've battled any of these trainers yet. We haven't. Um, but we are going to go through here. We're going to battle all the trainers. We're going to go through Rock Tunnel. I'm hoping that we can get through Rock Tunnel this episode. If not, that's okay. Uh, my goal is to get to Celadon City, though. We'll see how things go. If we get really close before time runs out, because I like to keep these about an hour or so, uh, then maybe we'll just kind of make it a little extra. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll go with an Ember attack here. Um, we do also have an Ivysaur that is in our box right now. He is higher than all our Pokemon besides our Eevee. So we put him in the box for now just because I wanted to ride around on Arcanine. We might put him back in the box. We won't be riding around too much. Um, at this point in the game, so we actually may uh, switch Kibao for our Hanio, which is our Ivysaur's nickname. So, this Eevee is about done. We get a critical attack, hits to the Sand Tank, so it's Lorna actually, which is always really annoying to deal with. Always. Doesn't matter the situation, whether it's double team, whether it's minimize, whether it's Sand Attack. Just, just don't, you know? It doesn't even matter, because Madara overpowers the Eevee. Let's see, 113 EXP points. That's what I'm talking about. She has a Gloom. This is unfortunate because we do got a switch. And Gloom is a Grass Poison type, so Shino won't be so effective against it. Um, well, maybe. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Off the top of my head, I don't know if Poison is... If it's neutral with Bug, or I would assume it's in effect... like. Bug isn't effective against poison, I would assume. So this is probably neutral damage. But we're gonna go for a twin needle anyways. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure it'll be neutral though. Yeah. Certainly that's neutral damage. Yeah, definitely neutral damage. I thought so. Cause obviously bug is super effective against grass type, but ineffective against poison type, thus making it neutral. Uh, which is fine. Shino can still do the deed. We could have obviously just switched into Kiba and have Kiba take care of business. But we don't get to use our shiny Beedrill, you know, very often. It is a shiny Beedrill, uh, for goodness sake. And uh, if you're just now getting into the series here, the shiny Beedrill stemmed from episode 1. Where we actually ran into a shiny Beedrill, 1 in 4,000 chances. We found it, discovered it, I was the happiest man alive. Until it ran away, then I was the saddest man alive. So I went off before episode 2 and shiny hunt for a Weedle. Was it before episode 2? I don't remember. Did I do it right away? I think I did. But anyways, regardless, I hunted for a shiny Weedle for about 5 hours or so. And then uh, this is him today. You know, this is Shino, our shiny uh, Beedrill. So here comes Jeremy, a, a hiker. Looks like he has a hammer in his hand. 
Looks like it doubles up as a cane though, which is nice. So this is an onyx. Definitely gonna want to swap here. Unfortunately, our Charmeleon never learned Metal Claw. I don't know if he does learn Metal Claw anymore by level, but I know you did in Fire Red Leaf Green era, which is third gen. I can't say I'm I'm sure if he levels if he gets it by level or not, but we did get him. What level did we get him when we got Charmander? Because this was the gift Charmander that we got from uh, Route 24. It's the route uh, north of Cerulean, after the Nugget Bridge. I think that's Route 24. I don't know, but regardless, Madara grows level 23. It might be Route 20. But it's the route after Nugget Bridge, and there was someone that gave it to us. I don't remember what level we got. I think we got level like 15 or something. Like it was a really high level. Evolved pretty quickly, as did the uh, the gifted Squirtle and the gifted Bulbasaur that we got. Although we ended up keeping our Bulbasaur that we already caught in Viridian Forest, I believe. Uh, let's go over here and battle this Bug Catcher. It doesn't appear to be any new Pokemon in this area that I've seen yet. And of course, uh, after we went through all that trouble of catching the Nidorans that we missed uh, last episode, we did then discover that they're in this area as well. So it was kind of a waste of time. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, oh, there's a Fero. We don't have Fero yet, so we'll go ahead and capture Fero. So I was mistaken when I said there wasn't any Pokemon around here. There are. Um, so, uh, this needs to be moving around. It's always annoying. We'll go use an Anaeb Berry. Boom, what a great throw with a great ball. You know what I'm saying? Two, three. We don't get them. That's unfortunate. We're going to move around some more. Or it's just going to run away. It's alright. So, Fero runs away. Not a big deal. Like, Spiro evolves into Fero, what, like level 25? If we absolutely have to. Is that a Nita Reno, though? Hold up. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Why you gotta do this now? Why you gotta try to battle me now? I want that Nito Reno. Connor. With her Paris. Oh, I can't wait to blow this Paris back with an Ember Attack. Mm. Toasted mushrooms. Sauteed with some butter. Maybe some salt and pepper. I don't know. But regardless, we're gonna use Ember on this Paris. Knock it out. One hitter quitter style. I want that Needle Reno. I would imagine if there's a Needle Reno here, there would be a Needle Reno as well. Poison Jab. Ooh, that's a good move. We'll get rid of Poison Sting. Absolutely. That's a bit of an upgrade. You know, Shino can be useful against Sabrina when we get there. Um, especially if she has a Mr. Mime. But otherwise, Shino hasn't been too useful yet, which is sad. Might be useful against Erica as well. Um, unless she uses, like, Vileplume Victory Bell. She might have a Tangela. Alright, so it's gonna jump around. Jump, jump, I jump around. Gotcha. Or did I? One, two, three. Got him. So we got the Nidorino. So that's added to the Pokedex. We'll have to look around for a Nidorino as well as a Fero, maybe. But as I was saying, I think Spirit Evolve is what? Like, level 25, maybe level 22. Somewhere in that range, uh, so it wouldn't be too hard to get it there. Especially if I go chaining for another Pokemon, I guess throw a Spear on our team and uh, level up pretty quick. So, Nidorino, the Poison Pen Pokemon. Its horn contains venom. If it stabs an enemy with the horn, the impact makes the poison leak out. That's never good. So, I, I really do like Nidorino. We have yet to find, though... Whoops. We have yet to find, though, a Moonstone. We went through Mount Moon. I'm pretty sure we looked everywhere for one. Like, we went to all the corners. Um, I didn't see a Moonstone. And usually, there's a Moonstone there. Unless I'm mistaken. So, there's a Fero. I don't know if you to get Moonstones if you have to uh, do anything special if there's no Moonstones in the game. I don't know how that works. I would assume Moonstones are in the game. We know that Leaf Stones are in the game because we got a Leaf Stone uh, last episode. Let's get this thing to stop running around, please. Please, for the love of everything that's holy and mighty. Boom, what a great throw. One shake, two shake, three shake. 
Come on, baby, let's go. So we got a Fero and a Nidorino so far today. So, so far, making some good progress on the Pokedex. Of course, the ultimate goal here is to 100% complete our Pokedex at least to 150. We're not going to get a Mew, but we can get the 150. Get the Shiny Charm. Fero, the Beak Pokemon. A Pokemon that dates back many years. If it senses danger, flies high and away instantly. The only thing that might be a, a problem, and I thought about this earlier, actually, um, besides the Pokemon that evolve via like trading, because I'm going to figure out how to do that. I'm pretty sure, I know you can trade on this game, but I don't know if I can actually, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. I bet you people are, I don't know if it's like a GTS type system or what, well, I haven't tried it yet. So, I mean, I just, the answer is probably there and I just haven't seen it yet. But, I'm sure if I go on there and try to trade Machoke from Machoke, people will just do it. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But getting a Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan might be an issue. Because, like, I do play Pokemon Go, but I don't play, like, a lot. Like, I play very casually, specifically on, like, community days, right? So I don't have a Hitmonlee or a Hitmonchan. And you only get one in this game unless unless it's a rare spawn somewhere. I haven't really looked too deep into it. Because, again, I tried to avoid as much as I could for, like, spoiler purposes. Granted, I mean, it's a Gen 1 game. Kind of a Gen 1 remake, I guess you could say. Um, although there has been some differences already, but like, so there's not like much to spoil, but like in terms of like what Pokemon or rare spawns and stuff, I don't know. So, I haven't looked into it, but I don't think, I would doubt that Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan are a rare spawn. I guess we'll have to see. I've been surprised already many a times. Such as last episode with freaking Chansey and Mr. Mime, that was pretty cool. Run away. Plus, there's the exclusive Pokemon, but like Pokemon like Oddish, which I know is exclusive only because we've gotten Bell Sprout and we haven't seen Oddish. Plus, my buddy has uh, the Pikachu version. I guess I could just trade him for the exclusives, huh? I didn't really think about that till now. Hmm. I shouldn't be too worried about it. Probably I can get him to get the other Hitmon that I don't get, and we can trade to help each other's Pokedex. Seems like a plan to me. I'll have to talk to him about that. Uh. Okay. Ha 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 ha, bring it on. You say that now, but till I bring it on, you're going to be like, man, I should have I should have asked for it. Alan, huh? he's got three Pokemon. Is this the first trainer we battled that's had more than two Pokemon? No, I think Lieutenant Search had uh, three, didn't he? I don't remember. Look at the swap, though. Let's go with Isobu. Let's see, he had... Raichu, I think he had Magnemite and Voltorb, right? I don't remember. Is this thing using self-destruct? You mad man. He knew, he knew what was happening. So he's sending out another Geodude. So unless this thing has Sturdy, we should outspeed it and we should be able to take it out in one hit. Alright, so we take him out. I'm just worried about the self-destruct again, you know? Alright, so Sobu's gonna go to level 22. Another Geodude, huh? This man is a one-trick pony. Alright. Goes for Bide. I'm sorry, man, I don't think you can be lasting a few turns. But this Geodude did outspeed me. So there's that. Ha 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 ha. We got three Pokeballs. Alright, let's go this way. There's an item up there that we can grab. First, we'll have to battle you. I'm taking the Rock Town to go to Lavender Town. Oh, does Rock Town go to Lavender Town? And not Celadon? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It has been a while since I played a Gen 1 game, but that's un that's unexcusable that I didn't remember that. Because I have played through, much like most people, through Gen 1 games like a billion times at this point in my life. Through, you know, the originals, red, you know, Leaf Green, you know, Fire Red, 
Um, even through Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And that's just the original, you know, the regular games. Then you have like, um, like, what's the, like hacked ROMs and stuff. I was trying to think of. I almost said modded games, but it's not really the right word. Um, who are we going up against? Same true. I knew it was a uh, rock or ground type, but I couldn't think of what it was. But uh, but like they like do hacked ROMs and stuff. So I've been, you know, I should know that it goes to Lavender Town. And my mind is going to straight to Celadon. I mean, we'll go to Celadon from Lavender, obviously, but... Madara grows level 24. Ruby grows level 26. Yeah, but for some reason, that part of the game, like, was gone from my memory. Like, because I'm sitting here thinking, like, okay, so this is where we're going to go to Celadon. And then from there, we're going to go, you know, uh, beat Erica or take out Team Rocket's Hada, depending on, like, what level we are. And then uh, the one that we didn't do, we'll do the other one, right? Then go to Lavender Town. And, you know, just all that crazy nonsense. Hold up, double kick. Goes for a crunch attack. Does quite a bit of damage. This should knock him out. And it does. I'm gonna have to heal up soon. Can't measure up. What can I say? There's an item over here we can grab. Super potion could be useful. Who are you? That's a nice Pokemon you're walking with. Thank you. So Chris wants to battle. Has a Diglett. I dig it. So Isobu is really weak. Hopefully, it doesn't have an arena trap. Uh, might just switch into Ruby. Uh, Shino should be able to take him out as long as he doesn't use like a Rock move. If he uses a Rock move, we're in trouble. Look at that shine. It never gets old. Goes for Dig. Got some bad news for you, my man. Alright, so let's go for... Poison Jab. On I'm pretty sure it's ineffective against ground types. We might be able to get that poison off. Yeah, it's not very effective, but it did a ton of damage. So here comes Firo. We can switch into Hanamudu. Hanamudu. Hanamaru Zura. And, uh... Take out Firo. We'll use Thunderbolt. So, huh, so we have to go to Lavender next. Battle through a bunch of trainers on the way to Celadon. Slam, huh? So get into the slam and welcome to the jam. I really like, I kind of like quick attack over slam. I'm just going to keep quick attack. Nah, we're good. Kiba goes to level 20. Out like a light. Damn right. Let's so grab this Pokeball. Five Pokeballs. Spiro. Well, you have to see a neat arena span, uh, spawn. I'm not too worried about it, but I'd like to see one. Yeah, I'm off to Rock Tunnel as well. Did we beat all the trainers? I mean, there's a trainer right there, but did we beat everyone that was over here? I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, so let's go up here. Ha ha ha! Aren't you a little toughy? About to find out. Black Belt Bryce. BBB. Mankey.
So I don't like some water is level 24 now. Can we ride on Arcanine in the cave? I'll be interested to see. If we can't, we definitely want to bring an Ivysaur with us. We might actually swap out Kiba anyways. What's that? He looks angry. Absolutely angry at us. Alright, so let's go this way. Another trainer here. Don't you patronize me. We're not patronizing you. I'm about to kick your butt, though. Picnicker Caitlin, huh? Alright, Caitlin. A gold dean? We'll bring out Hanamaru Zuda. Goes for a quick attack. Does solid damage, but not nearly as solid as this here Thunderbolt. Goes for a horn drill, knocks us out. Last episode we got hit by a fissure. That was crazy. So here comes Pidgeotto, we're gonna stay in of course. Go for another Thunderbolts. We actually outspeed the Pidgeotto, interesting. Ooh, but it sticks the lane and hits us with a wing attack. Could go for a quick attack, should knock it out. Just in case it also goes for a quick attack. Yeah, we're good. No, you're too much. How come everyone keeps giving us 420? Alright, so I'm gonna go this way. Alright, so here's a new patch of grass. An item. Now, in other games, you would get like Voltors and Magnemites here, right? Can we get them? There's a female Nidoran and a male Nidoran. Okay. I dig it. Oh, the Pokemon Center is right here, dude. Oh, there's a Team Rocket member here. Well, hey, you're the kid that's been getting in our way all the time. Oh, snap. I don't remember this happening in the original game, did it? Because of you, the Team Rocket Retreat was totally smashed. We'll never be able to face the boss at this rate, which means we'll have to take our revenge on you. Uh oh. Hold it. Who's this? Lapras? Yo! Ganging up on a child, I obviously can't forgive that. I can never pronounce her name right, so I don't want to say it's like Lorelli, right? I'll handle these three. Could you take the other one for me? Leave it to me. Good answer, now then, let's go. Team Rocky Grunt, eh? So he has Eradicate. That's actually could be problematic. A lot of our Pokemon are pretty low. Radicate's pretty strong, man. And it's level 22. All right, we'll be all right. I mean, we also have the Goat. We have we have Ruby on our team, and <laughs> they've really did a good job since we can't evolve her. Like they made it a, a great effort of making our uh, starter Pokemon extremely overpowered. Like I would imagine Pikachu is the same in their version. Like <laughs> Eevee's ridiculous. And we take out the Raticate. What if the boss hears about this? It's probably going to give you a demotion. And well deserved. Jeez, kid, just how strong are you? Even three of us rushing you wasn't enough. Those incredibly powerful ice Pokemon, who are you? Yeah, it's Lorelei. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce her name, Lorelei. Yeah. Shall I freeze you all solid too? Uh, lead four, we surrender. You're a pretty talented trainer. It was plain to, s to see you during your battle. Plain? I see, so you're collecting gym badges. I look forward to when you come to challenge the Pokemon League. Until then, see ya. 
Yeah, I didn't know who that was at first. I actually thought it was Jesse from Team Rocket since we saw them earlier. Um, but I was like, why is she wearing like a suit? She doesn't typically dress like that. I'm an ace trainer. You'll find that ace trainers like me are a lot tougher to beat than ordinary trainers. If you're ready for a real challenge, if you let me let one of us spot you. Okay. The types of Pokemon match up differently with each other. Based on its types, your Pokemon may be strong against one Pokemon. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. I sold a nugget that I had a real use for. I got 5,000 for it. I heard that some kind of ghost has been appearing in Lavender Town. Everyone's talking about it. That's what I heard. It's the rumor on the street. Alright, so. Out of curiosity, though, I do want to see if we can ride our Pokemon. And, uh. Oh, did she heal our Pokemon before we battled? It looks like she did. Her being, of course, Lorelei. Um. But if we can't ride our Pokemon in the Rock Tunnel. I will go ahead and switch uh, Ivysaur out for sure. I'm just curious to know though. I don't know. There's a couple trainers here. Okay, and one of them's a coach. It looks like I've been out. I've been out at a Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. So Vance, huh? Has an Eevee. Interesting. So he loses with an Eevee. I'm kind of insulted. You know? I guess his Eevee's not quite like Ruby, huh? Pulls out a freaking bubbly slider, what the hell the move's called. <laughs> Knocks our Charmeleon out in one hit. Has a double kick, though. Um, Go for Ember Attack. Goes for Quick Attack. That's going to do some good damage. So if all you have is normal type of mind, I can see that being very difficult, especially against Barak. Misty at your level, you'd probably be able to win. I would think, at level 22. And a Psyduck. Well, with that Psyduck, she should be able to beat Barak. I mean, it's got water moves, right? And you're, like, level 20. 22. I should have swapped. I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, we'll switch into Hanamaru. Zuda. Goes for confusion. Then we're going to go for a Thunderbolt. Knocked, uh, not as, almost that much. I actually survived the Thunderbolt, though, which is kind of surprising. Oh, after all my training? Your training meant nothing. Five Pokeballs. Three Great Balls. Okay. Look at those Pharaohs over there in the background. The Rock Town is a tough place. Why don't you train here before you go? I'll train you every step of the way if you want. Okay, kiddo, I'll give you a workout. Of course, there's a coach trainer. Tasha. She has a Poliwhirl. Oof. Look at Poliwhirl, though. Alright, so let's swap out into... Uh, oh, wow, level 25. Switch on to Pikachu, or Hanamaru. We dodge its attack skillfully, we go for a Thunderbolt. And they, we avoid the attack again, wow. Survives. Goes for Hypnosis. Oof. Brick break, wow. Brick break could be a problem if we have to switch into Eevee. Come on, Hanamaru. Goes for another brick break that might knock us out. <sighs> Got a critical hit. Alright, so this is not a walk in the park, which is good. We'll bring out Ruby. 
We can use Buzzy Buzz. There it is. And we outspeed him. Knock him out, no problem. Primeape, huh? Hmm. Primeape. I right, say we go into Sobu and try to hit some skulls. Maybe we can burn them. We could all. We could also withdraw spam if we wanted to. I don't think it's necessary though. Because of course, withdraw would increase our defense. Level twenty six. As a brick break, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Maybe I need a. Maybe I should have withdraw spam. Burn, 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 burn. Oof. Huh. This is a problem. We're not gonna outspeed him. This is probably gonna knock us out. Maybe I should have used withdraw and then healed. <laughs> we actually might lose this one. Uh. We'll go into Madada. I could hit him with a smoke screen, maybe, if we survive an attack. Maybe ha have a chance of having uh, him miss a couple times. Okay, we survived with 3 HP. Let's go for another one. Ah, he knocked us out. He saw through the smoke. Alright, we'll try Shino. Go for a poison jab. Now he does have his accuracy load a little bit, so we'll see how that helps us here. Could come in clutch. Poison jab. Goes for brick break. We it misses. Thank you, smoke screen. Poison jab pits does a good amount of damage, and we poison him. Okay, we should be good then. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think we're good. Watch, he's a full restore. Brick break. Okay, we resisted, of course. Okay, we're fine now. We actually, we absolutely got this battle. Yeah, good job, Beedra. I should have brought Beedra maybe uh, sooner. Alright, so we beat Tasha. Way to go, youngster. She swung a little bit there. Turns out you taught me a thing or two. Here, take this for the lesson. We got Brick break. Ooh, that actually could be very handy. Um... Charmeleon might be able to learn Brick Break. Beedrill can learn it. That's it. So can War Turtle. And Hanamaru. Huh. 70, uh, 75 base. Was it like double kicks like 30, right? Yeah, so essentially that's like 60 damage, right? So Brick Break would be better. So let's go ahead and give it uh, Brick Break. Thinking about giving it to Madara. Madara doesn't have a great move set yet, so I feel like this could help out a little bit. Um, although Madara is a modest Pokemon, but getting rid of like Growl or something will help it give it a little bit of type coverage, just a little bit. Um, giving it to Beedrill over like String Shot wouldn't be terrible either. Though it's gonna be. Honestly, it might be tough to actually find a time and place that the Brick Break would just be more useful than Poison Sting. Maybe it gets a Steel type Pokemon. Yeah, that's a good call. We can we can do that. Uh, Isobu. You have a bunch of Water moves. We can replace like Bubble Beam with Water Gun, right? Yeah, Bubble. We'll get rid of Bubble. I knew he had some sort of Water move I wasn't really caring about. Obviously, we're gonna keep Scald. Alright, so we got Brick Break on Water. We got Brick Break on almost everybody now. So that was a pretty good pickup. Alright, so we're going to heal up, but I just want to see something real quick. Right, so we can use Light Up, which we learned last episode. Oh, that's nice. You can ride an Archon. Oh, there's a freaking Gold Bat. Let's try to get that Gold Bat real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and use an Anab Berry. We're almost out of them, by the way. And eh, not the best of throws. 
One, two, three. Got him. So we got Golbat. Huh. It's a level 24. Golbat, the bat's Pokemon. It attacks in a stealthy manner, without warning. Its sharp fangs are used to bite and to suck blood. Huh. I want to heal my Pokemon. Oh, Gravel just popped up. Damn. Damn. There's some, there's some Pokemon in here. Alright, well, I'm like running all the way around, so we'll go and chop that down. It almost sounds like it's saying Bundle Bay. But you're not a Bundle Bee. You're an Eevee. Alright, seal up real fast. I think we're going to swap out Arcanine now for Ivysaur. Well, riding through the cave might be useful. I want to get some levels on our Ivysaur. We'll be able to ride. I think you can ride on Venusaur. I think I may have seen a screenshot of someone doing that on Twitter. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm pretty sure you can ride on Charizard as well. So, uh, let's, see, let's go to party. Open up that Pokebox. There's Han. There's Han. I almost called it Hanamaru. There's Hanayo right there. Uh, let's swap that. Where's Keybat? There you are. Different party. Right, add to party. Let's see. We'll do the same thing. We'll just cut through this. Bunnel Bay! Alright, so we'll go ahead and light up. So we've seen a Graveler in here too, so we'll be able to catch a Graveler. There's a Gold Bear right there. Oh, Machop. Ooh, heck yeah. Oof. Oh, come on. And we got Machop. So there's also Graveler in here. Um, Graveler, Golbat, Machop. We leveled up, so a lot of Pokemon there. Good stuff. Machop, the super power Pokemon. Very powerful in spite of its small size. It has mastered many types of martial arts, makes it very tough. Took my chop away. There's gold bad. There's the hell are you dressed? Is that a slowpoke costume? <laughs> Looks great. I'm not gonna argue. I actually want one. I want to dress up like a slowpoke. Don't catch him, huh? Hmm. Almost there, eh? Great. Two, three. Right, let's go ahead and use a uh, Raspberry. Make this a little bit easier for us. Oh, or, or will I? Man, sometimes the aiming on this is not not so good, you know? Excellent. That's a good throw. And we got Graveler. Nice. Graveler, the rock Pokemon. Often seen rolling down mountain trails, also because they're just things to roll straight over, not avoid. So Graveler, Gobat, Machop, Rhyhorn? Rhyhorn's in here? Whoa, okay. You usually get Rhyhorn to what, the Safari Zone? That's pretty cool. Oof. 
Great. And we got him. There's a lot of cool Pokemon in the Rock Tunnel, man. Rhyhorn, the Spikes Pokemon. A Pokemon with a one-track mind. Once it charges, it won't stop running until it falls asleep. Alright, let's talk to the Slowpoke guy. Or, do we? Oh, there's an item over here. Okay. Repel. Let's talk to the Slowpoke guy. Pokemon fight, ready, go. I expected a little bit more dialogue if I'm being completely honest, but that's alright. Yeah, that's a slow po <laughs> That's freaking cool, man. So he's a Pokemaniac, and he has a Slowpoke, go figure. I would have been disappointed if he didn't, to be honest. Alright, so we're gonna have to swap. Uh, we'll swap into Pikachu, or Hanamaru. Actually, actually, Shino. Shino doesn't get too. Although, if he uses confusion, it's gonna hurt, but. You know, sometimes you gotta take a risk. Goes for a water gun. Twin Needle. Yeah, and we poison him. Super effective. How much is this doing? A lot, right? Like half? No, not quite. Okay. Ooh, but the confusion. I guess tit for tat. We poison him. He confuses us, huh? And if I know, if I'm right, it's what a one third of a chance of finding ourselves in confusion. That ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Pretty sure it's a thirty-three percent chance. Madada grows. Hanamaru grows to level 25. Game over. Oh my god, look at that face. What an amazing... And the Zubats are here too, of course, naturally. Another Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn would be a cool Pokemon to uh, chain and shiny hunt. I want to do another shiny hunt at some point. I really do. Oh my goodness, and of course Onyx is in here. Why wouldn't he be? I draw pictures of Pokemon when I'm at home. Okay. That's cool. I'd like to see these drawings, Winston. He has a Kangaskhan? Yo, look at Kangaskhan, dude. Well, we have Brick Break. So, I mean... Let's see how much damage this does. That's Fake Out. That's unfortunate. So, we'll go for Brick Break. Super effective. Doesn't do quite half, though. Goes for a Bite Attack. Um... How much does Ember do in comparison? I would assume Brick Break does more, even with Stab. Yeah, it would do more. We get the burn though. That's actually useful. Goes for bite attack. Burns. But like flamethrower. Like will flamethrower do more damage than brick break? No. Well, I think it does actually. I think they're close. Regardless, doesn't matter. He tried, but he failed. Alright, so there's a Karate Man over here. Ha ha ha, can you beat my power? Yeah, we can, and we will. What if your name is Dudley? Onyx, oof, we're gonna swap. I really do enjoy the sprite of Onyx in this game, just because how big he is. Look at him, he's huge. Let's bring in Hanyo. We haven't got to use Hanyo in a while since uh, she was in the box for a little while. Use Vine Whip. I wonder what TM uh, Erica gives us. Because, I mean, we got Scold from Misty. 
Thunderbolt from Lieutenant Surge. Is she going to give us, like, Giga Drain? That would be pretty cool. This is pretty hard. This final is going to hit even harder. He's a defensive boy. Goes for Slam. And welcome to the jam. Slam. Oof. Can he knock us out? Nah, we should survive one Lizzie crits. That's a lot of damage, though. Yeah, three. Oof. They take out Onyx. Oops, out muscled and outclassed. Alright, so we've got this item here. It's a dire hit. Another Rhyhorn. Don't want to go the right direction because we still have a couple places to go. We'll battle these guys though. I don't think we're going the right direction though. Hit me with your best shots. Eric. Alright, Eric. As a Mankey. We can stay in with Charmeleon and get some Mankey. No problem there. Okay. Let's go for an Ember attack. Karate Chap. It's going to be close. We should be able to knock him out. We do. Barely. Really do need to heal up now. <laughs> Might have to backtrack to the Pokemon Center real quick. Poliwhirl. Um, yeah, Hanamaru. Uh, Hanio's looking a little hurt. Looking a little hurt. Good damage. Majidai grows to level 26. What's our Dragon Rage? Dragon Rage could be pretty good. Smoke screen is not bad. We get rid of Scratch. Fire away! Alright. And we did. We have three Great Balls. We might have to backtrack and go to the Pokemon Center real fast. There's a ladder there. The Pokemon Tickets will leave you crying. Of laughter. Because they're so terrible. What a comeback. Alright, so Alan, he's a hiker. Um, as a Geodude, so we're going to swap out. I mean, we could go for Dragon Rage, but it won't knock him out. be like a 2-hit KO. Let's go for Isobu. Let's go for Isobu. Goes for a takedown. Gets himself a little bit of recoil damage. Um, let's go for Scold. Super effective and it knocks him out. Naturally. Shino grows to level 25. Wants to learn agility. I think we're good. Onyx. Speaking of Onyx. Go for a Scald. And Onyx goes down. One hit or quit. So maybe I was wrong. Onyx wouldn't survive. Go to level 24. Although I could have sworn earlier we hit a... No, it was Vine Whip we hit him with. Not Scald. My skull does more damage. Graveler comes out. 
and we'll take him out as well. I give. You've got more technique than me. Alright, so let's uh, backtrack real fast. I think we're my way. We've already battled you. Was that a Q-bone? Yo, I want a Q-bone. Machop. I straight up thought that was a Magmar for a second. Like... I don't know why. I don't know what in the world I would have. <laughs> uh, the Cubone threw me for a loop, man. I gotta go back real fast. <laughs> I might need to go to a real Pokemon Center. I thought that man was a Magmar. I got excited. <laughs> I might need to go to a Pokemon Center and get my head examined. Alright, run away. Let's go heal up real fast. Ah, we got about 10 minutes left. We'll keep going. I don't think we're going to be able to finish the rock tunnel this episode, though. But that's alright. We can wrap it up next episode and uh, head over to Lavender Town and make our way to Celadon. That could be all next episode. I ain't leaving rock tunnel, though. I'm telling you right now, without a Q-Bone. It ain't happening. I almost want to put Q-Bone on our main team, man. Love Q-Bone. Uh, that's that's one problem with like Pokemon games a lot of times like there's so many Pokemon that I just love but you can only have six on your team it's almost I have to pick like you know my favorite son or something it's like ah I can't do it I can't do it there's a Rhyhorn we can't over there Um, Geo, Geo, Geo. Oop, ran right into that right horn. So we didn't grab this last time. It's a revive, though. Could come in handy. We actually might be able to make it through here. Hmm. I guess I'll have to see. I don't know how many floors off the top of my head are in Rock Tunnel. We're obviously, we're on the third. We're almost done with the third. At least halfway. Wait, have we battled this person before? Oh, we haven't been up here yet. It's Lenny. Has a Growlithe. Look at Growlithe, man. Growlithe's so cool. Let's go for Dragon Rages. He shouldn't have too much. He might have like Takedown or something, but I think we'll be alright. That's Flamethrower at your level? Man, I'm jealous. I would imagine that Blaine Pike is his Flamethrower, huh? That or Fire Blast. I'd rather have flamethrower though. I like the accuracy versus the power. So the only thing we missed down here then was that item, huh? Huh, I thought we were one more floor up. Damn. It's Onyx. Hika. Hmm, maybe I'm lost in here. Oliver has an onyx. Surprise, surprise. Um, we're going to swap. We're swapping a Hanio. So 
So use stealth rocks. Uh, let's go for. No, last time we got bodied by like almost lost one on us. Let's go for a uh, leech seed. So let's keep up with the damage a little bit. Now we go for Vine Whip. Did good damage. I don't know what was up with that last time we fought. Then that last time must have been very tanky. Because we didn't even do half with this with Vine Whip last time. Ruby grows a little 28, feeling great. Muscle and double edge. I mean, that move would do a lot with stab, but man, I like having payday. No, we'll keep our old moves. Sand slash. We'll stay in. Let's go for vine whip. Should be enough, right? Should do about half. Fury swipe on this doesn't do a whole lot. I was way off, not nearly, <laughs> not nearly half at all. Goes underground. Well, we've got a flying Pokemon with us. We don't. We avoid. Oh no, he avoided the attack. I was to say that did a lot of damage actually. It's too late to leech seed now. I guess next time he digs underground, we just have to like heal or something. So are we speed tied? Cause we out speed we outsped him. Yeah, we outsped him when, when he dug, when he was using the dig attack. Um, this answer is actually pretty strong. Let's go into Sobu. We hear those. Oh, I forgot stealth rocks are up. Put him with a scald. Goes for dig. Should knock him out. That stance is pretty strong, man. Ease up. What am I doing? Which way is out? Who am I? What am I? Where am I? The right horn. I want to catch Cubo, man. Alright, so there's this trainer that goes to another floor. Alright, we'll battle this trainer to see where this leads us. If I remember right, the last floor. Oh, that was my chop. I thought that was a Cubo for a second. I saw something pop up. I also was thinking you to show me some respect. If I remember right, in the last. Uh, I don't know if that the layout or anything is the same as the original game. I assume they are. There's a room where there's like a trainer facing this way, and a trainer facing that way, and then a trainer facing this way. That's the final room. If that's the room next, we'll finish out. If not, we'll go and wrap it up here. So, that's the plan. We'll go for Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage will be more than Ember. Goes for a Brick Break. This can do quite a bit. Yep. Dragon Rage will wipe him out, though. And we win the battle. Excuse me. Right horn, we're definitely swapping out there. We'll go into a Sobu. Go for a Scald. I give. Alright, let's see where we're at here. Oh boy. What? Hmm. 
I guess we'll just call it here today, guys. Um, cause I don't think we're quite, uh, I don't think we're quite close to being out of here just yet, unless the layout is just different than the original games. But anyways, guys, uh, we'll, next episode we'll definitely get through Rock Tunnel. Um, we'll hopefully get to through Lavender Town. My goal is to go through Rock Tunnel, uh, and then go through Lavender Town, do all that stuff, and then go over to. Uh, I need to put the text speed on fast, by the way. I'm glad that popped up. Um, yes. And then go through Lavender Town and make it to sell it on sea. That's my goal next episode. But anyways, guys, until next time, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels. Been your for all peace and one love. Bang!